What is happening, y'all? Welcome on back. So, uh, according to our, our thing, there is more stuff to explore here on the comet. So, let's, let's go. Oh, go this way. We're gonna go, we're gonna see what else we can figure out here before we leave. Maybe I can do something with the ship. There's a signal scope thing coming from it. Hello? Anybody home? Oh, what's happening? Oh, what's happening? Oh, no, 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 what's happening? What's happening? What's happening? Oh, no, 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 Oh, no, 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 no. Yo, what the fuck is happening? What just happened? Back in the ship. Back, back in the ship. Back in the ship. Back in the ship. Back in, back in the ship. Oh, fuck. Oh, I did not like that. What the hell? Oh. Oh, man. Oh god. Okay. Uh wow. All right, what what just happened? What what even just happened? It's like it's like I went by the sun and got ripped out or something. My scout launcher is not equipping. That might be while I'm in my suit only. What is this? I know it's getting it's getting farther away. What are you? This is another ship, I think. Ow! Oh, that's not good. Okay. What's this? Welcome to the white hole station. If you fell through the black hole by accident, don't worry, you aren't the first. This warp tower can return you to Brittle Hollow. Every warp tower is tuned to a specific astral body. 
tower's warp can only be used during the brief window when the tower is aligned with its corresponding astral body, in this case, Brittle Hollow. It must be standing on the warp platform on the floor during this alignment to be warped. If you look up while the station is rotating, you can see the alignment happens. The astral body is directly overhead. It's the, the warp thing. Okay. Twin projection stone. This sounds important. What am I? What's happening here? I think I'm changing my alignment or something. Yeah, I'm rotating it to align with something else. Okay, uh... How do I how do I exit? Found uh, some some alien tech. Maybe I go to Ember Twin? Uh... How do I drop my thingy? Deep hourglass twins. The 
Ember Hearth, Ember Twin. Okay, I want to go to... I want to get to Ember Twin. That's really close to the sun. I don't like that. We're gonna let autopilot take care of this so I don't get cooked. Definitely not my usual speed of a game, but I'm liking the exploration so far. It's kind of like wandering around and finding stuff without a, a clear objective. It's, it's not that bad. Could we exit ship to repair landing gear damage? Shit. We're like really fucking close to the sun. Ship to repair landing gear damaged, okay. I wanna drop my my thingy. Wait a minute, hang on. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. What is this called? Wasn't this called, like, Ember Twin something something? Ash Twin. Whoa, what is happening over there? What is this? What is happening? Dark Bramble, do not like- Ah, why is it getting close? What is happening? What is going on? Did I just get warped? Did I just get black hold? Something is eating my memories again. Fuck. Ah. Uh, <laughs> what? So to something in space kill me and it rewinded time? Going back to where I died. I ain't going down like that. No, 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 I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm dying. Die. I did not put on my suit. Rip. Uh. 
So, I think the thing I'm seeing up in the air when I wake up is my ship getting blown up and my own death occurring every time. Alright, let's try this again, but let me put on my suit this time. We are going back to Ember Twin. They're locked. Gauge autopilot. We're plenty away from the sun right now, it's good. I'm gonna get within guessing 500 meters to get a land. Feels like a good landing. Wait, what was I? What did I come to Ember Twin for? Gravity cannon, right? Stats reports for all systems. Everyone harmed or ski pots. Passengers are afraid, but physically well. Everyone survived. In my gratitude, we're able to find the other distress pots. I can hear both signals somewhere in the star system. I don't believe either escape pod crashed on the same plane as us. Alright, let's Injured, escape sequence activated, awaiting departure. Now launching two, collision imminent. It's getting complete, prohibitively high, inhospitable, do not seek shelter on planet's surface. The heat from the star system sun is more bearable below the surface. An escape pod punctured on the planet's surface and broke into what scans which shows a cave system with much cooler air. I recommend we seek a site down there to build long term shelter. Passages are amazed, even with this danger, they are still our best chance for survival. From teams in the center of the caves, look for a shelter site. Mark our findings on the walls to avoid becoming lost. Be cautious. Be aware the sand as you search it rises gradually. Emergency escape hatch. Nothing of interest at the end of this passage but rocks. Do not follow this tunnel to its end. Thomas and I will examine the horror that lies at its terminus later. Proceed, we live through this. An enormous cavern at the end of this passage that appears promising. I believe we can construct long term shelter. Wise choice for shelter. Could you mark directions for others to follow? This is the start of the path to the shelter. I'll have directions here to guide you. This hurry is filling with sand. Do not allow yourself to be buried by sand.
needs to breathable air. Refill your supply tanks there. We cannot tell how far deep the Atea may wind. Do not linger as it's exposed to the heat of the sun. Walk forward until you meet the sandfall at the pit, then turn left. Continue to the room filled with rock columns and climb upward through the opening above them. Sand here is rising, it's just be cautious but swift. Walk forward until you meet sandfall, turn left, continue to room with rock column formations and climb upward. Right, until you meet the pit, and then turn left. Continue till we see the columns. Columns and then rise upward. This, this is it. Bosch is crossing the chasm. Craft will do its job, but it isn't strong. Once on the far side, look for the tunnel hidden behind the falling sand. Follow it, and you'll reach the shelter. Falling sand. Okay. Lay a little farther left until you reach the shelter. You can rest there. Hurry before the sand comes. Do I go up? This is it. This looks quite promising. Let's just go. Is this like a shortcut out of here? This is amazing. Look inside the cave. How did this come to rest here? We haven't encountered others in these caves. I think this is a rare find. We need to find a way inside quickly because when I returned here to search for an entrance to the cave, there were children playing on the specimen. From what I can see. The specimen, very old indeed. Imagine what we might learn if we can examine it. We both agree it's unlikely this dry planet is this poorest place of origin. Really, this hole is too small for it to have fit through. There's another entrance to this cave. If there is, we'll find it. My scout isn't launching, even though it says to launch scout. Make sure my uh... all right, my bumper is working. Uh, default settings. Oh, what the hell? Interesting. This is getting weirder by the minute. My O2 is getting quite low. Oxygen, please. Oh, this ain't good. I guess they did find shelter, but they all died down here. Oh no. Stuff back there. I just noticed how low my O2 is. This is not good. 
I love being surrounded by skeletons. This makes me feel very safe and prepared for what's to come. Oh! Not good. Untranslated writing. No! No! Ah. Yeah. Oh man. So far, only to get taken out by a cactus. Oh, what a way. What a way to go down. Well, let's wrap up this episode for now. Um, we're gonna check our, our ship log and possibly go somewhere else in the next part, so I'll catch you all then when we continue.